now it's time for a new review video. And this video is going to be on Draco PDF Field Guide by the a Dragons of the World from the Empathy to the Wyverne. And it's made, this book is made by the brilliant man William O'Connor. Let's start with the Empathies. Um, but there's are mostly seen as winged snakes, and, and their habitat is mostly in focus. To be mostly in either. and that's a cockatrice, which is made by combining the, an amphitheater with a domestic chicken. This is the swallowtail. This is. Firewing. That's Mothwing. Very good design of the wings. I actually like that. This is Garden. This is Vulcan. This is Starburst. This is the common one called Stripes. And this is golden. This is the Asian dragons. So this might be also based on some of the Chinese dra dragons I've seen as long serpentine creatures. And their habitats are bamboo forests. The jade dragon. If you guys don't know familiar, it would be like Kung Fu Panda 3, like the Jade Zombies that Kai control. Very good colorish. The Temple Dragon. This is the Bonsai Dragon. And this is the Imperial Dragon. This is the Korean dragon. And this is the Himalayan dragon. Very good design. Oh, and then there's, there's also the spirit dragon. And the Fuji. And the Fuji dragon. Now, this is called the Sea Orcs. Uh, that's what a sea orc egg looks like and their native habitat would be the waters and beaches what started off this list would be Jormungandr if you don't know what Jormungandr is Jormungandr was from Dracopedia Legends I see this is 500 foot long long giant snake sea creature it's part of the Drac the Draconquil Willis Willis family and their status extinct. Hmm. Now this is the Loch Ness monster itself. The, I mean herself, a Scottish sea orc, sea dragon, a mostly member of the Draco Cetacidae. Cetacidae. The sea lion. Do not be confused by the mammal, or the type of animal that the Pokemon in Gen 7 Poglio is based on. This is the Hammerhead Sea Orc. Also, people like to call this the Pickaxe, or the Anchorhead. This is the Frilled Sea Orc. The more common species, the Feral Sea Orc. This is the electric sea orc. The flying sea orc. So mostly given in the anatomy of flying fish. The striped sea orc. The manta sea orc. 
uh, these are called the Fey Dragons. Very adorable creatures. So that's their eggs, not egg size, right? Yeah. Very cute looking creatures. And their habitat would be in rural areas, like like farmhouses, because they're so small. The Leafwee, otherwise known as the Jabberwock, a dragon. This is Cardinal. The Queen Mab. This is Excalibur. Well, it looks like a beetle, but so. This is Swallowtail Fey Dragon. This is Will O Wisp Fey Dragon. And the more common one is the Monarch Fey Dragon. Very good design of the of the wings too. Oh, the great dragon. All of the, this, this family of dragons is the most feared and inspired great legends. From like Beowulf and the dragon to, uh, to the Mabinogion. So, and their habitat is mostly somewhere where, like rocky terrains where there's like abundance of food, water, and high pressured wind. The Great Acadian Green, which is found mostly in the northeastern North America. That's right. And this family of dragons follow a sexual dimorphism, where males will have the usual colorful look, while the females have like this dull coloration. The Chinese, the Great Chinese Yellow. You really think that the Chinese dragon is a serpent, serpent-like creature? No, this is the true Chinese dragon. I mean, look at it. It is so awesome looking. So this guy is found in Eastern Asia in the Yellow Sea. That's their eight color. The Crimean Black. Where this was, I think mostly because this is based on their facts, where they mostly use genetically engineered dragons to, for reconnaissance. And that's their egg color. And now we got out the. Look! It's Vanos! <laughs> this is called the Elwa Brown. So, this dragon has inherited of, of owls and more like towards its raptorial bird-like kin. It may not look like, like a fierce dragon, but don't underestimate the great dragons or any member of the Draco Rexidae. Huh. All right, color looks a little more, the eggs look a little more buffier. Oh, they're so adorable. I bet Vanos would have loved that one. This is Icelandic White, common in, in the North Atlantic regions. So this is what also inspired the Mamanogion, along with another member of the Trichorexidae. That's their egg. This is Ligurian Grey. Okay. Leonardo da Vinci invented the hang glider, but what did we don't didn't realize is that he actually used this dragon as the base for the hang glider. Because it's found in northern Italy. And then her egg almost looks like a looks like a stone. This is from Beowulf and the Dragon. A great Scandinavian blue. Looks more like an alec, like almost like a crocodile-like head in the side, so. And that's their egg right there. Okay, the dragon that also inspired the Mabinogion would be the most feared one. 
the great Welsh red because Icelandic white is mostly based on green, and that the Welsh red is mostly based on dominance. So, this is the Welsh red track found in Northern Britain. And like the like most dragons, they follow a sexual divorce, and that's their egg. <laughs> the Drake. Yeah, this is these are quadruped looking dragons. Mostly found in see this is the common Drake. One of the most common species that's found in world areas worldwide. St. Cuthbert's, which was the AIDS people that are stuck in the high mountains regions. St. George's Drake, or also known as the Dragon of Silence. The Pit Drake, Isles Drake. This stars, this stars Drake, but the one thing it is, it's extinct. With Waits Drake, the Siege Drake, the Racing Drake. Looks like the most smallest Drake species ever. The Hydras. And like that's their egg, and their habitat is usually in forest, like swampy regions. The European bull hydra, one of the most. Wait, this guy's extinct? Oh, how did these guys weren't extinct? Oh well. I think everybody should know Titanus Yamata no Orochi, or also known as the Japanese hydra. So this guy is also a titan in the Monster Burst franchise of Godzilla. So, Cerberus Drake. Medusa Hydra. The Zme Zmegoronite. Although you'd be like, Keith, that's not even a Hydra. It's just a creature with wings. Why is this classified as a Hydra? Well, the fact that Zmei Goronite is actually called Wyvernus Hydraeus. But it's extinct due to them being hunted there. The Indian Hydra, also I like to call Naga. The, the Lerne, Lernian Hydra. Marine Hydra. The Basilisk. That's their egg, and our deserts are usually in, and their habitats are usually deserts. So. This is a Sonoran bacillus. This is the most common species found in North America. The Stressalkis Drake, bas I mean bacillus. The Saharan bacillus. Gobi bacillus. Love the ton actually. It gives it look like it's a chameleon. Dara bacillus. Ain't no basilisk. The Vesuvius salamander. The Fuji salamander. And Florida's known fight user of fire. The Kaleos salamander. Arctic dragons. That's their egg, and their habitats are usually snowy regions. 
So this is the Sme Sme Dragon. This is one of the four Dragon Brothers that controls the Month of Honor. The Killing Dragon. Also to be the base creature for the Kirin in Monster Hunter. The Great White Killing. Cook's Dragon. Which is based on the, one of the four Dragon Brothers that controls the month of winter. Cloud Dragon, one of the most common species. This is called Hoku Dragon, which is mostly the dragon that controls the, is the four, one of the four Dragon Brothers that control the month, month of spring. Storm Dragon and Luck Dragon, which is the four, one of the four dragon brothers that control the month of summer. Wyrams. Their egg and their habitat looks like from Goosebumps to Werewolf of Fever Swamp. Stupid, huh? European keen wire with I meant this one an excellent species but it's sad to say they're extinct. American bion wire African stripe wire Asian marsh wire I don't even understand how this thing's a carnivore. It doesn't even have any teeth. European lindworm. Lindworm. Wire. Right side. It's extinct. The Indian dracon. Let's see. Quaddle. Alright, and they're found mostly in the forest region, forest re like regions. Now we get to the most common one would be the South America Quattle. Or also like, creatures like to call it a Quetzalcoatl. This is Egyptian ser Serpent. Or the Pharaoh's Quattle. And this is Phoenix. The Dragonette. This is the one called the British Spitfire. That's their egg. They can come in size size from big to teeny me. They're found mostly in kind of like mesas, like good regions. This is American Appaloosa. This is the courier dragonet. Messenger. Abyss Abyssinian. Yes, excuse me. Wayne Wayne's board. It's oh no, looks a little bit like weird to be a dragonet. And we get to the most feared ones, wyverns. So if you guys don't know that the story of St. George and the Dragon, that the creature that St. George actually slew, I mean slain, was actually a wyvern, not a dragon. So technically, European wyverns, like the Red Cross Dragon, has actually went extinct. So these guys mostly play, play on elk, elk, caribou, and dragonets. So, so technically these guys are called dragon wolves. Like in Monster Hunter, we have different species of wyverns. We've got the flying wyverns, icy wyverns, bird wyverns, brute wyverns, fanged wyverns, and snake wyverns. 
and are all caused by these dragon wolves. The sea what a sea weaver. The Asian weaver. The golden weaver. And the most common one that we have here is the North American weaver. Let's see, so there has a poisonous bar tail. And that's all there is. And, and there's William O'Connor, the artist of the Dracopedia books. And they're all made by from the same ones that made that made the title of that book. I keep forgetting what it's called. It's a narrative, a review of Dracopedia Field Guide. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye!